guys, welcome to your reading. For those that do not know me, I am Tabitha, your psychic medium and healer. Okay, this is going to be a prediction for the zodiac sign Scorpio for the month of March. Okay, so many angels came through for you guys, so I don't even know where to start. Um, okay, let's start with Archangel Michael. Um, he came through because he is heavily going to be protecting you guys this um, month. He's also going to work with you guys um, to remove any blocks, um, to remove any fears and anxieties. Uh, you guys had Archangel Azriel come through. Um, that's the angel that helps with like endings or grieving, loss, um, but it can also be like if you're closing out a cycle um, or anything like that, this angel assists in that area. Uh, you also had Archangel Haniel. So Archangel Haniel is going to help you work with your gifts. You also have this Archangel come through. Um, the angel's unknown, but they are very galactic. So they they also came out with like Uriel and... Um, and Raz, Raz, oh, Uriel and Razel, sorry, I'm trying to say too many things, at, too many angels at once. Um, yeah, so the, that like combination of those four angels, they were heavily talking about um, like your gifts, your galactic coding, understanding and receiving messages from higher powers, like deciphering them. So they're really going to be working with you guys um, this month. You also had two stones come through. So you had bismuth come through. And this actually helps you to rewrite your code with rainbows and colors, they said. Um, but they were specifically talking about galactic coding. Um, so this is a really good, it's a very fragile rock, actually. It falls apart very easily. But they were talking about um, if you get easily distracted or, like, bored or discontent, uh, this is a good stone to kind of keep around you, to keep you um, not motivated or energized, but uh, to, like, keep you on track almost, okay? Um you guys also got um, rhodonite, which um, is to, to, to go with your, your heart, okay? It also helps with self-love. Um, they were talking about opening your heart again. So some of you may need some healing in your heart chakra, so we can invite our Archangel Raphael in, ask him to facilitate some healing in that area, remove um, anything out of it that needs to be cleaned, and um, replace it with a uh, green healing light and just heal up that, that heart chakra. Um, so this is um, a really good stone to have. It, they're also talking about like your unique powers and like your beautiful um, place on planet earth. And so once again, like really going back to like understanding your coding and your abilities. Um, you guys had the, alligator spirit come through for you and uh, this is about balance of water and earth okay so balance of ele uh, elements um, it's also about uh, your most inner self and kind of like attaching to that um, realizing your desires and dreams and um, also helps with dream recall uh, which is also probably why you had like Haniel there as well and this galactic um, archangel. You also had the horse spirit come through. So this is like talking about freedom um, without restraint. So like being able to run free, um, travel, movement. Um, it's also about like going towards your desires with power. Um, it's also about learning spiritual lessons and overcoming obstacles. Um, they did just want to give the reminder to make sure that like you don't have your blinders on, so don't get too fixated on one thing that you like miss other things coming in. And then um, from your galactic uh, family, they were they had some messages for you. They said that um, you are not alone. You are being guided by masters, teachers, um, and galactic family of the highest realms. Uh, they 
are saying that you're being guided by the cosmos. Uh, stay strong. There is a positive outcome coming for you. And to surrender the need to control the outcome, just be present in the moment right now. I'm picking up on like a lot of powerful manifestors. So you might get a little upset when like things don't quite go your way, they're saying. So they are just wanting you to kind of like let things like unfold naturally. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. So I see that you're starting the month off with like some sort of kind of like epiphany. Um, you guys are kind of like hanging by a thread on something, okay? Um, but you want movement forward. For some of you, you're really contemplating buying a new vehicle um, or even like moving. For some of you, perhaps even going on a trip. Um, so you're just being really like logical and analytical about this. Um, but there will be some sort of kind of like epiphany that's going to kind of help you come to some sort of, of realization. Uh, for some of you, you may want to move forward um, with an air sign. So this could be um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this could be somewhere in their chart. This person is very smart, very analytical, logical, um, powerful. They um, are very laser focused on whatever that whatever it is they do. Um, this person is probably kind of more in like um like a not a higher power, but like they're talking about like commanding and controlling and like dominance. Uh, not in a bad way. It's just like this person could be very like authoritative, um, and people really like listen to what this person does um they are coming off as like kind of this like strong energy um so you guys may may be kind of like wounded okay i'm hearing in the area of love like especially with that like heart chakra um so there may have been like this ending this rebirth this transformation you guys may have like taken some time out some of you may um even be feeling a little like ill towards um like like you might just feel like drained might need some time um to yourself just to recuperate in the first week of march there or like at the beginning of march um so yeah so you guys are kind of feeling um but like you're gonna overcome whatever it was okay so like there's been this rebirth this transformation and like you guys are coming out on top okay you're able to look at your your the past or like you're able to put those wands behind you or whatever it is behind you and kind of like move forward now um with this new with this newer energy and i see it's very successful for you guys like there's victory um you may even start getting some like public recognition like um, you might notice that like people are going to be like you might be like a little more popular if, if that makes any sense um and uh it's going to give you a little bit more pep like the like um for some of you you could also um okay so let me just finish that so yeah for some of you it might give you like a little bit of a pep it might give you some motivation if you were feeling like kind of down or lacking um and just know that you kind of are protected not kind of are you definitely are protected you have so many angels um as you go forward um you are you are protected on on this this journey um so for some of you um an earth you could be possibly dealing with an earth sign so uh you could be dealing with a virgo taurus um capricorn or it could be somewhere in their chart or it's a type of person that is very um they're very generous they could possibly have their own business um they're very abundant uh they would make a good mother they make a good friend um like picking up a very nurturing caring like um definitely like would would uh, <laughs> Uh, they're saying definitely would make a very good parent um like a good mother or father um really good at like taking care of the home and and yeah like business um this person definitely owns their own business because they they have um uh the work like work is coming up as well um so there may be you may be wanting to move towards this person with some more motivation or they be, could be coming towards you um Kind of like fired up uh there is a little bit of gemini there as well 
Um, like I said, we have the earth. Um, but yeah, so this person could be wanting to come towards you um, and collaborate and work or vice versa. You might be able to, you might be wanting to um, go towards them, but it's like, um, it's like passion and motivation meets um, intellect and action. So it could be this very like, um, not explosive in a bad way, like, um, but it could just be this very, like, I almost want to say, like, passionate, quick, like, like, partnership, like, how this, like, would come together. Um, they are telling you um, to look, uh, like, look deeper into your, like, emotions, okay? So they really want you to use your intuitive um, -ness, especially uh, like kind of in the second week of, of March. Um, they want you to like take a closer look at like what's underlying in you. Um, like I said, you, cause you're being defensive and it's like, um, the universe is trying to offer you like a, a new beginning, um, and trying to close out like a painful cycle, but it's like, you're kind of being like defensive about it. Um, so they want you to kind of like take a closer look at like your feelings and um, what it is that's like actually triggering you or blocking you, if that makes sense. Um, so there is some sort of like tangible offer. Like it's almost like, um, you know, the page meets the fool. And from that, you get this passionate, motivated new start. Um, so for some of you, you know, you could be thinking of making an offer to someone and starting like a new adventure or they might be starting a new adventure and you kind of want in on that because we did see like the work and um, you will definitely see like pentacles, like you will see um, financial like abundance from, from that. Um, for some of you, like someone may want to offer you like a very small tangible thing, um, but build into it's like this one big pentacle becomes 10 very quickly um big time because this person that okay so now we have um gemini um and fire so um aries leo sag leo coming through very strong um so this person is charismatic charming um probably in the public eye, people are very drawn to this person. Like they're like sun to people, like people, like they just have this like light about them um, that people are extremely drawn to. Uh, they're, 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 um, yeah, they make people like people, they make people very happy um, and they, they, they can help people make decisions. I hear that right um they could even have some uh like a dramadon like starseed background because they're just showing me a lot of like angels now um i mean and you guys have like angels like heavily helping you guys this month um but anyways yeah so this person like um they are uh I don't know if I said in the public eye, but they just said that again. Um, for some, even possibly, like, could be famous. Um, but this person's, like, a motiva- They could, oh, they could possibly be a motivational speaker, they're saying, too. Um, but everyone's really drawn to this person. And they, it's like they, when they walk in a room and they, like, light it up, like, big time. Like, you got, like got a lot of a lot of light here um so yeah so this this person um they they're moving into a very good cycle okay they're moving into a really good cycle their wheel is turning um extremely fast it's like they got one pentacle and the next day they got 10 for, for some reason they just um they really know how to like um i don't know the universe is also like um doing it. So anyways, 
Um, for some of you, uh, like I said, you, you could be thinking of like partnering with someone like this. For some of you, you may actually um, be moving in with uh, with someone like that or a fire sign or a Leo or a Gemini, like they were coming through strong um, or possibly like um, an, an Aquarius or sorry, um, air is what I meant to say. So it could be um, Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius. There is water here too, though. I am I am picking up on water, so we could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, but someone might suddenly move in with someone. Okay. Um, so I, it's almost like good fortune. Like it's like someone like becomes very abundant very quickly, like very suddenly. And um, I see like maybe someone even moving in together, um, like like sending your 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 love life to a to, to higher commitment um for some of you this could be a little bit of a, a burden um for some of you um because you have like a burden and like walking away as well so for some of you, you could possibly walk be walking away from this type of energy um you know maybe uh it's interesting because you, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and then the Ten of Pentacles. It's a very um, interesting like combination. Um, and then you feeling kind of burdensome and, and walking away. Um, so yeah, and then like you might leave someone out in the cold. You might have options. You might be, you know, dealing with three different types of signs um, or people. Like you had the earth, you have the, you have like everything here actually. You have every element on, on the table here. Um, so you have a lot of options. Um, and yeah, so for, for, so you might have to leave somebody out in the cold and it might not feel great, um, but it's because um, you want to collaborate on something. Um, there's like, there's going to be this, like, I'm picking up more than like, um, there's like a celebration over like a project. Okay. So, um, whatever this is, um, it seems kind of spiritual because you have, um, temperance and the magician here. So they are saying, um, that patience is always needed. Like they were saying, like, try not to like rush things because they're not happening on, on your timeline. Or like the or like at the way you want them to unfold um but uh there is going to be some like truth and clarity um as well um but yeah like i see that whatever this like whatever this project is or like this collaboration um is like it's gonna it's it's in the public eye it's um it's it's liked as well like people really like it um and yeah there's just a lot of like magic around it it's almost like you're working with someone who is like an angel and like a magician so like they literally can create whatever it is they want um for some of you maybe um partnering with like two people like there may be a collaboration where one person is um you know of like this angelic background so they bring like that vibe to your project and then the other person is like a magician um so they bring like that vibe to it um and then you have your own like psychic and spiritual and intuitive gifts so um it's like it, it, it would be a very good collaboration is, is what i'm getting from this it, it's um it's a good collaboration but also just saying that you do have the power to manifest whatever you want but just be patient okay because the universe is at work here um, there is, you know, divine timing. Things do, people's cycles and stuff need to close out. Same with yours. Um, you know, try not to block yourself as well. But yeah, it looks like you 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 have options here. So um, um, yeah, like you could be working with 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 multiple people um, in in the future. But this project, whatever this project is, it's looking really good. Like especially towards the end of the month um whatever it is about it is it it's um 
and like I, I see that like it gets a lot of recognition as well. Like people really like it. People love it. Um, they're pointing me back to the sun again. It's like whatever this is, whatever this group of people create, it's really, really like brings a lot of happiness to like the world. Hmm. Okay. So in your, I pulled some cards for your love life. Um, you guys got engagement. So for some of you, you may be getting engaged. Um, I did not see uh, like the union card here, but I did see um, a ring uh, possibly for somebody in the, um, it could possibly come like kind of in the middle of the month. Uh, I did see people moving in together towards like the middle of the end of the month. Um, so yeah, they're just saying for a bunch of you, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So that might just be actually like making a choice between people and, you know, starting to see someone a little bit more, um, uh, exclusively they're saying, uh, the, let go of control issues came up again. And there's like seven angels surrounding this person who is, um, trying to control a situation. So they're saying to allow this to just kind of unfold naturally, um, cause you know, the divine is, is really who's in control. Um, they want you to extend your light to others. Okay. So they want you to, um, you know, be a little flirty, like, um, be like a little social. Um, for some of you, they're saying, go and express your love, like go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Um, if there is something that you are planning on doing because it is safe for you to love and it is kind of all part of um, the divine plan. They're just saying to open your heart to um, being able to receive uh, the highest energy of love. So um, it is safe for you to do so now. So open your heart. Um, also to the, the affirmation, like um, they're saying like, uh, I am deserving of love, but they're also saying like, I'm open to receiving love and I am open to giving love. Um, for some of you, there may be a separation coming up. Like I said, I did see someone kind of having to like walk away from something that was a little bit of a burden or, you know, we did have some people making choices. Um, we did have, uh, you know, just um, kind of like moving on and, and leaving someone out in the cold as well. But it doesn't really affect you too much. So, I mean, th that's good. Um, for some of you, um, for some of you, like it could just even um, be that travel. For some of you, you might be like traveling at the beginning of the month and there just might be a little bit of um, separation between um, you and your partner. Okay, guys, I hope that that helped. Love you so much. Sending you so much love and light. Bye.